Hello, how are you friends? It's Joyanto. I'm showing you this thing. Uh, previously I have made this thing and it was it's about changing static meshes. So these things are working and I haven't and this time I have made a small correction uh, which is this thing. I am trying to show you uh, sorry not here here I am trying to show you mm, let me make it full screen ok uh, where I am ok see this is what I have made so when I am clicking this button it's going down going away uh, okay let me try to make it a bit okay now we can see so when I am hitting this thing it's going away and when I'm again clicking it it's coming away. I have used a branch over here and I'm creating a create body widget when it is true it's creating this thing and after it's setting it I am adding this variable body visible and then I am and then I'm uh, I have, uh, I'm enabling it by like this and then it is converting this thing so now it is true so if I press again so it becomes false so it will so this thing is showing up so this is how I have made it so now I will uh, okay let me come out of it so a set input mode okay where are you okay let me save I think uh, this was the problem previous time also so I assume uh, set input mode game only so this is what it is mm, ok let me valid player controller target so I assume it is this probably this thing is creating a problem probably so if I uh, compile this thing come over here and so I don't think okay it's no now it's gone actually uh, in the previous video which I have uploaded about changing mesh it's it was showing that error so I have found it out and that's because of this thing so I have corrected it so now there is no issue okay so now I will connect this button and this is I'm just copy pasting it nothing else so it would be hmm, come on. Take us. Take us. Okay. So uh, I will just uh, do it. Press B, and I'm just copy pasting it. And I have to create a variable like this, body visible. For that, I will. Okay, where are, okay, I have. Here it is. So I will create another variable. 
like this i will make it matte visible so this will be the matte visible and it is user widget i have to change it to boolean so and then i have to compile and then this thing is arise so i will uh, this thing is not needed uh, I, I know it's not needed so let that be let it be like this and then what else i will just control c control v i'm just copy pasting it you okay for the sake of tutorial i will just add uh, visibility set visibility it's not coming very big problem so i have to switch this off and <laughs> now i will find it set visibility this thing it doesn't shows up uh, in the same in the same first go so you have to get it by like this and if it is true uh, we will set visibility to, to hidden and no actually uh, in the first frame uh, I need to copy all this three thing okay no uh, if so this will be hidden okay so now I am creating this thing uh, I will create I am asking to create widget create widget uh, here I will use our my uh, body color my body color which I have used Uh, this was the previous thing which okay let it stay it's, it doesn't matter so this is create body widget and then uh, i am going to create add to viewport mm. Mm. promote to variable um, and okay let me delete body color uh, delete yes so and i will name it body color so here it is body color so i don't have any instances of it before or after so i don't have any problem with that so here it is body color now uh, i have to add to viewport add to viewport so if I took like this, so it's getting connected automatically. Add to viewport. Then I am. Uh, I will use matte visible. And I will make it on. Okay, I don't like it naming. So let me correct it. what is your problem okay you need a thing okay we will come into that so we can easily if I put it like this and then if I hit compile it will go away so we are uh, near completion of it and after this we have to make it matte visible our variable boolean variable control C control V uh, into this like this uh, I have to disable it so primarily when I am clicking it for the first time the material button it is creating uh, it is checking whether matte visible is on or off so by default it's off so it's going it's triggering false so it's creating this body widget and then after creating the body then after creating the body widget it's uh, I am creating this variable widget variable and then I am adding it to viewport and when it is uh, added to the viewport I am making it uh, enable I am enabling it and then it's sh uh, it will pop up in the 
viewport so, so if I go like this if I hit change material so it's showing up and if I hit change material it is switching off so this is and if I hit change body it will show up and if I hit change material it will show up and if I change it it will get off so this is what I have done till today and this is what I have to show you and let me show you another thing let me okay get out of it and save current and how I have created this variable so a friend was asking for it a friend or a person and not a friend a person who was asking me about how I have created which variable so okay let me clean this up okay I don't need these two things so and it's not okay so so it is going like this here and it's changing this so this is what it is I was trying to make it uh, more cleaner I was I was trying to play with this <sighs> visibility option but I failed it didn't it's not working so mm, I am I have left it so okay a person was ask, uh, asking me about how I made this is body and is matin so for this I have uh, this body options widget here I have uh, buttons here we, if you see this are the buttons and it has the name uh, material see it is in this thing not here it is here material I have named it material and I have named this body and if I go into the graph I could see that uh, these two things uh, I have this is not needed I haven't used that thing and after creating these things uh, I have since I'm using this uh, in my this is the name of the blueprint so I have to connect it like this so I will go like this and then I have to write get actors of class this thing and from here I have to select my specific blueprint from where I am writing every code so this is the where I am writing the code and from this I have to take this uh, button uh, the name of the uh, button so mm, I am mm, uh, since it is created in the uh, here uh, in my window so if I create okay so this is uh, okay so let me create an, a custom event so I will add this custom event here like uh, add custom event uh, let it be join though and, and let me compile it and if I go into body options and if I uh, search uh, join to it's showing up because it is in this class window so and then if I connect it so it would work like this though I have nothing uh, allocated to join to so nothing will happen so let me I just sh uh, so this is how you created this uh, this is how I created is body is mat and this is what it is so this parts are not needed these are just for the purpose of this tutorial and this is and the same way this everything else is created uh, a red mat yellow mat blue mat the here I have named it and uh, let me delete it also so it's not uh, I'm not using it and so is red is the button and it is the maze changing so it's the body thing so here if I go into the graph see I have is red which is over here is red comes from is red over here so this is how it is 
and I think that will be all I have nothing else to show you okay so what I'm trying further on is to make it a single button and here if I change the body then I could get some different materials means from that is what I'm aiming next so let me complete that part then I will uh, again make another video if I when I will be able to uh, make that and another small thing which I need to show uh, previously I was using a different I was uh, adding a static mesh but now um, add static mesh component like this but you just need uh, to add a single swap mesh and you have to use sorry and in the event graph if you just use set static mesh and uh, using this specific static mesh and bringing over here and changing it it will change so this is what you need to set static mesh uh, previously I was using add component in the previous video if you see so this is how I have made it and this is how I use it I you can use it in your games also so if you change it like this it, it becomes a wall and then you could go through a hole and walk in your level and you can again and this is uh, it will throw me out it will throw me out so this is how I have made it and this are the all let me make some further progress then I will show you uh, what I have done so this is these are the options for mesh material and that's it and and this is the thing which I use to create this thing that's it thank you